The main reason why Michigan football has gotten so much better and reached elite territories is because of the amount of NFL talent they have on the roster. It seems that Michigan is getting some of the best linemen, the best running backs, and now some of the best pass catchers in college football. The level of player development and recruiting has only gone up for them, and the subject of today's video is the epitome of that. A couple of days ago, I made a video about Tennessee's new star receiver, Ramel Keaton, and how he is going to break into the stratosphere this season. Today, I thought I'd apply the same logic to Michigan, and we're going to talk about their next great playmaker. In fact, he is one of the best stories in college football, as he had such a difficult time getting to high school in the morning, he actually had to fly. He also was one of the fastest players in the country, and has the chance of becoming a first round pick in 2024 if he puts it all together for Michigan this year. Today we're going to be talking about Roman Wilson, as we're going to go through who he is, his career, and why he could be their new star. But before we get started, be sure to leave a like if you want to support today's video, subscribe if you love college football content, let me know what player, team, topic, or situation I can cover next, and turn on notifications so you never miss when I upload. Now, let's talk about the rise of Roman Wilson. So, going back in time, Roman got a front row seat to watch some of Hawaii's greatest football stars on TV. He grew up watching players such as Colt Brennan and Timmy Chang, and also got a chance to come up a few years after guys like Marcus Mariota, the Tagovailoas, and Mackenzie Milton as well. Obviously, he had some overlap with some of those players, but Roman grew up an Oregon Ducks fan and grew up in the great state of Hawaii. He was always an athlete as a kid, but eventually, he started to take it way more serious in sixth grade as he developed a love for racing and a hatred for losing. One kid would always beat him in track, so his family actually asked if the two would train together. The kid's father said, quote, My son would always beat Roman, but watching him, I knew that he would have a talent for it, so I invited him to see if he wanted to train. At first, Roman pushed back. He didn't want to train with the father of his competition, but he eventually decided to swallow his pride, and after one lesson, he was sold. This would help develop Roman's greatest attribute, speed. Originally hailing from Maui, Wilson, there weren't a lot of great football options for high school in the area, so eventually his parents identified a school that would maximize his athletic and academic potential. He would have to go to St. Louis High School. This is where many greats went, such as Tua, Talia, and Mariota. But the problem was that was a few islands away and was an absolutely grueling commute. His trainer said, quote, It was hard because we didn't know where he was going to live that first year. So, the first year for a while, I was running into the airport and he would literally fly to school at 3 to 4 in the morning, catch the bus, go to class, go to practice, and come back at the end of the day. I can't even begin to describe how crazy that is, and his dedication to football was insane. Luckily though, it wouldn't last long, as the local family heard about what he was doing and offered to take Roman in for the year. The risk would end up paying off for him after his sophomore season, as scouts would begin to notice. At the Nike's opening regional camp, the work he had done with his speed trainer had come to fruition. He clocked in at 4.37 and instantly went from an under-recruited player to a star. At the time, he only had 5-7 to seven offers and Cal was the only Power 5 school that wanted to give him a chance. After the run, he ended up with 28 Division 1 offers, including one from his dream school, Oregon. It wasn't easy though, as he had to go far lengths to get noticed on the recruiting trail and he had to go to camps in the mainland. Obviously with him being in Hawaii, that's not easy. He said, quote, I want to prove to people that I can run routes, I can catch, I have good footwork, and I think I can prove that. I mean, I went up there to prove that reason, and I also wanted to show people that I have elite speed too. Wilson was a varsity receiver for three years, where he totaled 103 catches for 1,948 yards and 22 touchdowns over his career. He made a name for himself as a national recruit by repeatedly burning defensive backs, helping St. Louis High School win four consecutive titles, hung up long touchdowns during the fall, and ran amazing sprints for the track team in the spring. I also want to quickly highlight his parents' dedication to this as well, as Roman's dad was actually a Hawaiian Airlines employee and transferred to Honolulu to be with his son, while his mom was a special ed teacher and she stayed there picking up odd jobs such as cleaning homes, making jewelry, and even babysitting to help them pay for their son's tuition at St. Louis High School, which was a private Catholic school. Obviously, it paid off in many ways, as he won the 2019 state gold medal in the 100 meter dash with a time of 10.68. He was just 0.05 seconds away from the record, and overall, this guy was just a burner who also had good stats. There was a method to his madness though, and it wasn't all luck. He said, quote, I've been preparing for this for such a long time. I put so much work in. The diets, the after workouts, all the little things that you did start to pay off. He was considered one of the best athletes to ever come out of Hawaii and said it just means a lot and I've put in a lot of work. Just to go down in history as one of the best athletes in Hawaii, it really means a lot to me and my family and I know it means a lot to them. I greatly appreciate this. So he was a star, but where was he going to go? Well, 
He apparently had 12 total offers and eventually chose Michigan over Cal, Oregon, UCLA, Colorado, Arizona State, and others. Family connections would help Michigan win the recruiting battle as well, as both of his parents are from Michigan, and I think specifically the UP, but it wasn't just about that. He said, quote, I think that is the best place for me to get a lot of exposure. My plan is to play in the NFL, and going against the best of the best from that conference week after week is what I need to do if I want to reach that level. It worked, and scouts knew he was going to be a big deal. According to 24-7 Sports, Wilson was ranked a four-star recruit, the number 60 wide receiver, and the 354th best player in the class of 2020. So how would the Hawaiian speedster do at Michigan? Roman would arrive at Michigan in 2020, and unfortunately, it would not be during great circumstances or great quarterback play. It went between Cade McNamara and Joe Milton, both of which struggled, and this led to one of the worst seasons in Michigan football history. Roman got limited chance to impress, as he ended up finishing with 9 catches for 122 yards and a touchdown. His best performance came against Michigan State, with 5 catches for 71 yards, and his lone touchdown came in a loss to Indiana. Going into 2021, he was buried on the depth chart a little bit, but Wilson's speed was eventually going to get him on the field. The first three games of the 2021 season were pretty slow for him, and then he had the game that would change his career. In a 38-17 road victory over Wisconsin, Wilson caught six passes for 81 yards. After that game, Coach Harbaugh said, quote, Wilson is growing leaps and bounds. It's almost like one of those X-Men movies, where the little kid or the teenage guy finds their power. Now they know they have it, and they're using it. It's really exciting to watch as a coach. The rest of the year was still somewhat slow for him, though, as he never caught more than three passes in a game, and his best performance would come with two touchdowns and a crucial road victory over Penn State. Eventually, Michigan would beat Ohio State in the game, and then they would get to play number 13 Iowa in the Big Ten Championship. Wilson would have a huge touchdown in that one, and they would end up getting to the college football playoff. A blowout loss to number three Georgia, Wilson caught one pass, and he would finish the year with 25 catches for 420 yards and three touchdowns. Going into 2022, Michigan obviously wanted to get back to the college football playoff, and Wilson was going to have a chance to be a big part of that. Before the season started, a reporter actually asked him who the fastest player on the team was, and he said, quote, I'm going to say it's me all day. He had an insane amount of confidence in this game, and in 2022, he'd actually do pretty well. In week one, he'd have a touchdown against Colorado State before a homecoming-like game in week two against Hawaii. In that game, he would touch the ball twice, scoring two touchdowns. This meant a lot to him as he got to play against the flagship school of his home state, and Michigan did a lot to try to get him involved. Timmy Chang took notice and said, quote, his story is unbelievable, and that kid deserves everything coming his way. From there, Rowan would have a decent role, as he'd have four catches in their win over number 10 Penn State, and then would help them beat Ohio State again to get back to the college football playoff. This is where the best game of his career would happen, as against number three TCU, he caught five passes for 104 yards and a touchdown, and also had a score on the ground. Wilson ended up finishing the season with 25 catches for 376 yards and four touchdowns, with two rushing scores. Right now at Ronnie Bell leaving, it looks like Roman is going to have a chance to be the number one receiver in 2023, and hopefully the offense will be a little more passer friendly, and if they can unlock and utilize all of Roman's talent, then he could be one of those players that breaks out. He somewhat reminds me of a Jalen Hyatt type player, someone who's ridiculously fast, and if he can master the deep ball at McCarthy, could be a weapon like that for a big team. Right now, with Wilson's insane speed and his insane work ethic, he has a chance to have a special few years here in Ann Arbor, and if he plays his cards right, could be their next great receiver and potentially a first round pick down the road. His story was truly inspiring and insane to me, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, be sure to let me know what you think of Roman Wilson's story, what do you think of Michigan and how will they do in 2023? And what player should I cover next? Be sure to let me know down below. Leave a like if you want to support today's video. Subscribe if you're new. And check out all my other videos on the end screen. I hope to see you guys again soon. But until next time, peace.